I want to guide us on how to set up the Richard TK9 smartwatch. And here is what we are going to do. First of all, we need to download the application called the Maxware. And you can download this by either scanning this barcode or the barcode on the user manual or you can just go to Play Store. For the purpose of this video, I want us to go to Play Store to then download this application. So I go to Play Store. If you are using an iPhone, you just go to your um, App Store to also download this um, application. So I'm going to my Play Store right now. And currently I am going to search, you come to your search bar, provided where your search bar is. And um, here is where my search bar is. And then I'm going to click on it. And then I'm going to search here on the search bar and search for massware m a s w e a r massware this is the massware app you click on it click on install now it's going to take a while for this application to install application has installed you just click on open now note before using this product or service please read and fully understand the relevant user privacy agreement click on agree allow massware to assess this device location click on while using the app now allow massware to send you notification click on allow the best assistance for sports health you click on i see and it brings you to this dashboard so here you can do three things from here you can either log in via your gmail account or you can log in via your email you or you can use this method direct login at the top bar here so for the purpose of this video i'm going to use direct login so i would want to click on direct login here before you click on direct login please um ensure to accept this um, privacy agreement here click on this little dot here you click on it and then you click on the direct login so it has automatically generated an account and a password for you and then you should just click on determine note please take a good care of your account number and password if you lose it you may not be able to retrieve it that's because you're doing direct login so you just click on determine you should ha you should copy out your passwords when you're using direct login and then you might want to set um from our you might want to set a uh, set a profile picture um allow limited access that is if you're using the profile picture but i usually like setting up profile picture so let me just use um this smartwatch as a profile picture yes this is what i selected and complete so yes and good so you might want to also use um a nickname so i'll use shop around and that is it click on next now you you choose if you're a male or a female i am male so i'm going to use male next step you might want to select your date of birth but i'll have to nest this and you might want to select your height as well ensure to properly set up these informations i'll click on nest again your your okay the other one was weight this is height i'll still click on determine and then you hear so you might want to use cloud or you might want to use locally but i usually like to select the cloud so you just um just select the cloud select the cloud and then i'll click on determine determine and here is a note please open the notification permission otherwise the message push functions cannot be used so you have to enable this setting so you click on this go to click on the go to click on the go to i mean go set i mean i meant to say click on go set and then you have to find the um, application so here is the application this is the application so you click on it 
and then it will ask for you to toggle on this notification allow notification access i'll just toggle it on now i'm using a redmi device and that's why it's asking me for this danger but on other devices it might not ask you for this or it might not show you this but this doesn't mean anything even if it asks you so you just click on you come here and then click here and then you click on okay here click on okay and this notification access has been granted so you just have to go back to your just have to go back to where you're coming from all right click on the go back you click on go back again click on go back again click on go back again and then you hear again in your application that is the wear max application you hear again so when you hear ensure that your bluetooth on your phone is turned on so i ensure that my bluetooth is turned on i also ensure that my um, gps location is turned on is turned on and then i come to equipment in the lower part of this device you see equipment now while on this ensure your smartwatch is turned on click on add device and then it will ask you no corresponding authority during during the use process this application needs to assess the positioning authority and the nearby equipment authority for scanning and connecting bluetooth equipment so you click on go set click on go set and then it brings you here now you come here you come to your app um, app permissions when you app permissions click on app permissions and then give all the necessary permissions that have not been granted grant all the necessary permissions so this are uh, this is the uh, the only app um, um, permissions that have been granted to this application is my location and notification and now i have to grant call logs notif um, permissions click on it and then you go back camera i will have to grant it allow while using the app go back contact i'll have to allow it and then click on go back microphone i'll also have to allow it and then i go back music and audio i'll also have to allow it and then i'll go back nearby devices i'll have to click it and then go back phone i'll have to allow it and then go back physical activity i'll have to allow it and then go back sms i'll have to allow it and also go back so i have granted the permissions i want to grant now so i have to go back to the application i'm back to the application i go ahead again to click on add devices so i click on add devices and now it is scanning for my smartwatch now you see it has found our tk9 smartwatch that's found it and you just click on it to connect now you can see that it is loading just need to take a while for it to connect successfully connected to equipment you look here you see it has been connected however few basic features has been connected here so you need to properly connect just everything all right and so what you will want to do now is to go to your bluetooth come down to your bluetooth and then um, allow it to search for the bluetooth of this device so it can connect also via bluetooth when it is not connected also via bluetooth the connection is not complete so if you didn't find this the connection you click on the smartwatch ensure to click on the smartwatch you now hover down from here now you see the bluetooth icon you click on it to turn on 
now the bluetooth icon is turned on you have to search again now you see that you can find our tk audio then you click on tk audio and then you click compare and it is connected with both the audio and the application you can make some basic settings the time here is 24 hours you can just click on it to adjust to 12 hours if that is your preference if your wristwatch is on your right hand or on your left hand you can you know adjust it also from here to the preferences i also i always like my wristwatch on my left hand so let it be on the left and here you can you know set up the rise to wake notification is already on that is when you lift up the smartwatch it comes out comes alive and then here synchronizing time synchronize time you click on it to automatically set and your time if you look at your smartwatch now you realize that the time is accurate um, so um for find device you click on find device you realize that it is vibrating just in case you lose your smartwatch and you want to find it you click on it again you see it vibrates that is how to use the find device now for bracelet languages perhaps you want to you know change you not an english and all that and all that so i would just leave it on the system language phone book now here you might want to add your contact and then whichever contact you add here um uh, when when you add your contact here and um, whoever calls you that is if that contact is added from here the name would display on the smartwatch you might want to come to notice and reminder notice and reminder and then um you click on notice and reminder and this is for you to select the notifications applications that you don't want to receive or you want to receive and um you just you know customize this to your preference whichever app you want to be sending you um, notifications you can select and unselect them from this place and then um for the health setting you click on the heart rate measurement monitor and you might also want to turn on um sedimentary settings and then if you want to do not disturb you can also turn it on this is for weather push so you might want to add a contact let me just add one contact let me see shop around this contact has been added and then let me see if i can find it in our in our phone let me go to contact and see if i can see it on my contact okay see i have it already on my contact and then i can decide to call it now yeah. So you can see that I already received the new notification on this um, smartwatch. So I can decide to view it or dismiss it. Okay. You can decide to view it or dismiss it. It's still checking for the new message. I think I have some difficulties with the uh, network. So um, let's check if we can now check our heart rate and blood pressure. Let's see. Um, let's see. Okay, so you see, it's asking me to wear the bracelet. All right, this is to tell you that it has been connected successfully. Yeah, so what is left now is for us to add a picture as a wallpaper, and to do that, and um, this is what you're going to do come down here where you you find the dial all right here you find the dial you click on dial and now that is going to open up all the apps market you might want to come down to here you see the diy dials and when you click on the diy dials then it opens up this interface you just scroll up a little bit to where you see the to where you see the dial background and then you click on the dial background 
and then allow limited access it wants to your photos and videos and then i want to use this picture as my wallpaper so i'll allow and then i come here and then i also click on allow and then i come down here and then i click on completed and then it opens up this it opens up the picture so i just have to crop it and then i click on this good up here and here so for the time i might want to drag this time to fit in the positions i want let's say this is the position i want and let's say i want to change the color of this timing so i'll just come to this color grading i prefer that red color so and now you have done you might want to now come and click on this save here and then click on save and now you look at our smartwatch you see that it is synchronizing with our smartwatch this is just going to take a little while till it hits 100 percent and then this picture will automatically um, display on our smartwatch now look at our smartwatch you see that we have successfully synchronized our wallpaper and um you might want to take your time and then study every other thing in this app but this is just the best way to go about this in a very short while and then you're done with your um, smartwatch setup so please follow me for more click the subscribe button and the like button so that people looking for tips and on how to set up this same smartwatch can be able to find these same tips 